This group of brave protesters in Yangon was small, but their message was loud. We will never be frightened. Their fight for democracy echoed by demonstrators in Bangkok in the wake of the execution of four political prisoners in Myanmar, the first in decades. I am afraid that um, even more floodgates are now uh, opening and that there is even going to be uh, less, less restraint on the part of the junta to um, continue its, its attacks on the people of Myanmar and to try to instill um, fear. Myanmar's military had accused the pro-democracy activists of aiding terror attacks by a civilian resistance movement that's fought the military since the coup. The men's families weren't told ahead of the executions and have been denied the chance to retrieve their bodies. Fiose Ator, a hip-hop artist and former politician, had close ties to Australia. His mother told Radio Free Asia, I am proud of him for giving his life for the country. If I could get his ashes or remains, I would like to make a tomb for him. Cambodia's Prime Minister Hun Sen, who is currently the ASEAN chairman, had appealed to the junta not to carry out the capital punishment. In a statement, he said the death sentences, just a week before the 55th ASEAN ministerial meeting, is highly reprehensible. Malaysia's foreign minister said Myanmar should not be allowed to send political representatives to any international ministerial meetings. We feel that uh, this is a crime against humanity. There can be no business as usual with this uh, regime. We urge all countries to ban the sale of military equipment to Burma. Australia's Foreign Minister Penny Wong released a statement calling on the regime to cease violence and release those unjustly detained, saying sanctions against members of the military regime were being considered. The community here want more. For me, it's um, for Myanmar diaspora in Australia, really want Australian government to step up and just uh, action. It's not supporting words, supportive action. A junta spokesperson said the government knew the executions would raise criticism but were done for justice. Sarah Jane Bell, ABC News.